Ashley is the new head of household. Who will she nominate for eviction? Find out now on Big Brother Cheesecake 2. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 2. It's day 73 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Ashley is the new head of household. She only has four players in the game that she can choose from to nominate. Rhonda, Rob, Jimbo, or Chanel. Who will she nominate? We'll find out shortly. But first, we're going to get to the rules of the Power Veto competition first. Uh, there was a bit of controversy because the Power Veto competition was originally going to take place throughout the day. Uh, a couple of people said they didn't want it throughout the day, so I suggested 11 p.m. at night. That turned into 10.30 at night. Everybody said they were okay with that. Then Jimbo at the last second told me he's not okay with that, even though Rhonda said that Jimbo said he was okay with that. So uh, at the end of the day, I put it down to a vote, and four people wanted 10.30 p.m., Jimbo didn't post anything in the group, and I told him if he could convince one person to change it to during the day, I'll allow it to change, but so far there's been no change. So we're still on for 10.30 p.m. tonight. Uh, the, uh, the Power Veto competition is called Big Brother Otev, and here's how it works. Otev, or Veto spelled backwards, is a Big Brother classic. I'm going to ask you a question. The answer to the question is a number. In round one, the first four house guests to give me the correct number will advance to round two. In round two, the first three house guests to give me the correct number will advance to round three. In round three, the first two house guests to give the correct answer will advance to round four, and in round four, whoever answers correctly first will win the golden power veto. So it's kind of like musical chairs. If you give a wrong answer, though, you are eliminated. But there is only one player eliminated in each round, which means only the first player to give a wrong answer would be eliminated in that case. Okay. It's really that simple. Now let's get to the nomination ceremony. Ashley is the head of household, and one of her duties as head of household is to nominate two of his or her fellow house guests for eviction. This is Ashley's second time as head of household, and I'm sure it's very different than the first time, because the first time there were 16 house guests in the game, it was week one. Now we're down to the final five, so it's much more difficult for Ashley to decide. Well, actually, you can argue it's easier for Ashley to know. Okay, but here we go. This is the nomination ceremony. I will reveal the two house guests that are safe, and then the two nominees. Chanel, you are safe. Rob, you are safe, which means Ashley has nominated Rhonda and Jimbo for eviction. Jimbo, I'm nominating you because you've played the game the least, so I think it's only fair. And Rhonda, I'm nominating you because I just trust you the least of the people left. I mean, there's hardly anybody left, so it only makes sense, right? Okay, so Jimbo and Rhonda are nominated for eviction, but... They have the chance to save themselves with the Golden Power Veto. And interestingly enough, this week, if uh, Chanel or Rob win the Golden Power Veto and they choose to use it, then the other person will automatically be the replacement nominee because Ashley won't have any other choice. So really, at this point, technically nobody is safe except for Ashley. So, game on! With that said, who will win the Golden Power Veto in the Big Brother OTEF competition? Find out tomorrow. Saturday is the Golden Power Veto Ceremony, and Sunday is the next live eviction and head of household competition where we will learn the identities of the final four. I'm Andrew Shevsik. Take care, and we leave you as we eavesdrop on the house guests. Good night.